Hello and welcome. We're here in beautiful New York City and uh, we have a very wonderful light show behind us. Um, maybe we can actually use this uh, type of production for the next Metallica tour. A day in the life in New York City with Robert Trujillo. New York City. It's a very special place. I first came here in 1985. I came here with a couple of my buddies from high school and and it was just insane. I mean we had a great time. We visited a friend of mine who was living with his girlfriend and it was pretty wild. So New York is a place literally that never sleeps. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> awesome. I can say I've never done that. <laughs> I felt hair. I felt long hair in a while. That's awesome. There's a lot of creativity here, which which is what I love about it. Um, a lot of different styles of music. So this both lines are going to be supposed to be straight. <laughs> you put them out, man. <laughs> there you go. There, that's better. Continuity. <laughs> so I changed my shirt. So a lot of careers start here. You know, I I know in acting and in art in different styles of music, whether it's jazz or folk, rock, metal, you know, a lot happens here in, 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 in and around New York City. <laughs> I love Central Park. It's a beautiful place. I've been there when it's snowing. I've been there obviously in the rain and I've been there in, in the hot summers, you know, and it just seems to be a great uh, therapeutic place to, to uh, be free from the madness of the concrete jungle, even though you're totally in the middle of it all. Now that we're dead. <laughs> now that we're dead. <laughs> now that we're dead. <laughs> As a musician, you have to roll through this town and you have to kick ass because everyone here, it's kind of like London or LA, you know, uh, it's you know, major market, one of the biggest, and you always want to make a statement when you roll through New York, you know, it's where the party is. What's up, Chief? Yeah, I know How you, you doing, Lawrence, man? Come on, man, come on, dude. Good cocktails, what's up? I can't get no cocktails for him anymore. Take your shirt off. Damn, I got a schedule of the Chief. <laughs> Bass guitar? Yeah. Bass guitar, blue. Do it without the chapstick. Bass guitar? Oh.
<laughs> on the, between um, Saint Anger and uh, Death Magnetic, I think there were four kids born in the Metallica family. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, five. Was it five? Yes. There's <laughs> <laughs> that another one. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> He was the outlaw, but there was a, that cool factor about him. The best drum sound on any Metallica record so right. far, and I heard a lot of them. I, I, I know you have. I agree. I always say when we put on our instruments, it's like we're teenagers again, you know? There's a certain energy um, and excitement that we have for, for playing and creating. is a great place to connect. It's whether they're just with the friends, you know, socially, you know, business-wise. If you want to create things, you know, you go to New York and find the right people that you want to create with. I love the energy of New York in, in, in that in that way, you know. It's it's where people fucking go to get things done, to follow through on, on on what they need to follow through and you know, it's just it's just a good place for that. Matters. Never dead, but 
Lars Ulrich, Robert Trujillo, Kirk Hammett, Metallica. So much fun last night. Did you see how much I was smiling? I enjoyed the small stage. I enjoyed that I could see everyone in the place. I love the sound of the place. I love that I could feel the energy you know, from coming off the other guys. But the vibe was there. We played well and we had a good fucking time. I thought we kicked ass. When there's anger there it, and people get to observe it, I know that's very, very entertaining and very amusing. Yeah. Where there's anger, there's joy. Yeah, you know, it's just like, you know, ooh, he's angry. Yeah, look at him go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's really gonna go for it now. Yeah, look at him go. There's a lot of mythology and legend that comes with that place. If I go walk down those stairs and walk through those halls, I can feel Jimmy's vibe there. It's crazy, you know. It's it's incredible albums that have been made there as well, and so you know, not just to, uh, to just focus just on 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 Jimmy stuff. But I mean, there's been a lot of like monumental albums that have been made there. Team BFM, take one. All right. What did you think about the reaction yesterday? Fantastic. Yeah. You know, I mean, when we played Hardwired, it was great. People, you know, people know that song a little bit more than Moth It's a Flame. I'm not the BBC. Take one. Hey, dude. Good. <laughs> when we played the two songs, people went mental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, likewise. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Hi, Helga. Hi. Glad to meet you. Eric, you're rolling. Oh, shit. This is Tommy, man. I'm waiting for you guys. I didn't you know. I went for the clap. <laughs> How are you? Good to meet you. Nice. To make an album like that, I'm very, very proud of, of us. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice, to, you. nice to meet you. All right. And he said, keep it going. Keep it more. You know, and he walked over and started turning knobs. And I was just like having fun, you know, just manipulating my guitar. I later found out that he took all that stuff and went through it and kind of crafted a soundscape that was used as an intro for a song. Cut. Hey, Marky. I saw you on the schedule. I was like, all right, bro. Marky here is a, a good representative yeah. for, for Big Apple. I, Big yeah. Apple. How did it feel to be back in the studio after so many years? I love what what the outcome was. Oh, I heard it. Is that right? It's, yeah, the it, tones, everything. Like you did, like 1988. <laughs> Do I look like you did in 1988? No, no, no. That's what I mean. But you less, look like he, what, yeah. he does right now in 1988. That always tripped me out. I'll take that. Maybe yeah, we're yeah. long lost brothers. Can you just in post? Can you just turn mine up? Yours is louder, anyways. <laughs> like that's what it is. I need sausage fingers. I need sausages. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian.
<laughs> we are on our way um, to television, yes. Uh, we are doing a Swedish talk show. This is Anton, our researcher. I'll just brief researcher. you about the show and like the interview and everything. It's Friday night, prime time, so it's supposed to be fun, fun, fun. But in kind of an, you know, it's like also an intellectual uh, space there in the studio. Fun and intellectual, that's yeah. me. <laughs> cool, thank you so much. Thank I'll, you. I'll let you know the time now. Is David here yet? Uh, no, he arrives uh, in half an hour. Oh. Well, the joke there is that David Blaine will magically appear in half an hour. Right? <laughs> Isn't that the joke? Well, <laughs> Living the goddamn dream, Governor. Thank you. Thank you. Lars, I'm seeing you on uh, Saturday. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> the first yeah. video in there? First in Norden. I stole it. Go, go, Steve. They've also seen me. You see, I know it's in So, what looks better, this or this? <laughs> Either one. You won't see that. <laughs> That camera is shooting the hi hat. That camera is shooting. Correct? This and this. Probably. Seriously, I'm not fucking doing this to get at least two more. Can we have him do something also? He's doing it. Flying around like a fly, buzzing. You know, put him on the ceiling and. We are very excited to come and play at the Enormo Dome. Uh, what was it called? Take two. January 15th. No, I'll try that again. Okay, well, January 15th and 18th. We're very especially excited about the 18th one at the. Thank you, here we go. Come on, bro. 
Summer Sanitarium Tour right 04. Here. I flipped my car and still made it to the show, Lars. In Orlando. Where did you come from? Italy. Italy. Yeah. All right, where did you come from? Italy. So this is Italian This is Italian Like, you know, we, we sit down. We okay, so you're there. Italian also? I'm Swiss. You're Swiss. Your grandmother is Italian. You see? <laughs> <laughs> it's the this is geographical. <laughs> You're from Italy. You're supposed to be over here. <laughs> <laughs> we may as well just get this out there now, which is kind of fun. Fun facts uh, is that the running order on the record, the vinyl, is different than the running order on the CD. And uh, I hope you like it. Playback. <laughs> no. No? Well, that's a good sign that. All right. Le Magnifique. Thank you guys. See you guys tomorrow. Nice to see you. What's it like being back in the hot seat again? <laughs> it's, it's definitely good energy and people are very, um, they're really responding to the new record and everybody was really seemed to appreciate the show last night. It's kind of fun, you know, to sit and talk about the record, start hearing some, a little bit of feedback and, you know, yeah. Talk I like being back in the hot seat, sure. <laughs> talk about the uh, title, Hardwired to uh, Self-Destruct.